Hey, this is Vince Omega, and in this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how the Mechatal transformation works. So, from the previous event that, that the Ogoni just went through, we were able to transform to like five different monsters, and one of them was the Mechatal, the infamous boss from Bill March Area 50, in one of the most hated boss fights. On key A, You'll notice an X icon. Now, what you can do when you press that to attack is what he does is um he powers up his X, and this is represented by um, a whole bunch of wind swirls uh, that happen to basically circulate around the X, and then he lifts the X up, which actually lifts the enemy up and does a huge amount of damage. On the S key, you'll see um, well, you'll see an icon that looks like flame. Um, basically, this is this infamous flame floor, the one that also stuns you. Um, now, it doesn't do the same stun effect that it did in Vilmar, but it does burn enemies, I believe, and does a lot of damage. So, I believe this is actually your most powerful attack um, in terms of how much damage you can actually do. Skill on key D basically enrages Mechatal and sets himself on fire. Only since he's a fire based enemy, it doesn't do any damage to him but burns every um, other enemy that's in contact with him. Um, this is a unique attack, like the boss himself doesn't have his move. At least with the axe, when he has a variant of that where he actually grabs you and throws you up in the air. Only this time with when you transform them, you can do it with the axe. But he doesn't have this attack. So this is a unique attack that you get with this transformation. And I guess it's somewhat useful. The skill on key F actually allows you to summon monsters. Now, unlike the original Mechatal, it actually summons landlords first, which then summons monsters, you just summon monsters. Um, I believe you summon up the three to five monsters at a time, and I believe if I had this over at the G key instead of the H key, I may have been able to summon Donald Bum Mouse, which I noticed I was able to do that in the transformation, which is I'm going to talk about in another video. But anyway, you get to summon, I believe, um, three Tau Captains, three Blood, um, Blood lag rules. I think that's how you pronounce it. Blood lag rules. And you get to summon um, three crazy items. Of course, the best summons you can summon are the, um, the, the three cabin towns, of course. Since they have huge defense and they can grab things and they're constantly a super armor. So. The last attack skill that he has on um, Key G basically he'll strike his ha his axe into the ground and what that does is it summons a whole bunch of lightning bolts um, towards the ground and it hits all foes within the area um, so you know of course you gotta be close to the enemy in order to do this and this is really a group um, attack skill so it's not gonna really do a whole bunch of damage to a single target unless that single target is huge and you know in the you know, post rebirth world, um, the new dungeons that aren't, I don't think there's any large um, bosses, save for like the boss on the ghost train, which we didn't get yet. But of course, you can't use it in can't use transformations in ancient dungeons anyway, so I shouldn't have brought that up. But anyway, this is basically a group skill attack, and I think it has a longest cooldown period as well. And lastly, on uh, like above the skill bar key, you may notice like a um, icon of Mechatal roaring. Well, this is basically his roar that he uses to stun you. Um, so you're able to do this by pressing the jump button, of course, and you will stun all enemies near the vicinity. But I believe the stun actually has like a level limit. It's probably dependent on your level. So if you're a level 70, you have a level 70 roar, etc. Um, because I know it doesn't stun everybody all the time, so 
I think it's dependent on your level instead of being at a fixed level, like a hundred level stun. Which it should have been, because it's Mechatal, but whatever, so. It's too bad I wasn't able to do Mechatal versus Mechatal. That would have been a good video.